and now we can work on our face drilling. So we'll go back to toolpaths, c-axis, and this time we'll pick face drill. Now again it says select the points, hit escape when you're finished. Um, I could pick entities, window points, mask on arc. I think what we're going to do is pick entities. And when it says select entities, I can say all and I'll just pick by color because those are the only items that are this color hot pink. So that was one of my reasons for using a separate color for those to make them easier to select. And we'll OK that. So that's our selection. We'll hit OK again for my tool. I'm going to select a library tool this time because I'm going to be drilling against that tapered surface I actually want to use a flat bottom drill or in this case we might just use a flat bottom end mill to drill that hole so I'll set my filter to only see flat bottom end mills and we'll say OK so we'll grab the 3 8 flat end mill and I think we'll double click this just to check our parameters it looks like it's not a very long tool so I think I'm going to change my overall length to about four and a half inches change my flute length to two and a half and I think that should be good let's OK that set our cut parameters I want to do a peck drilling operation set your peck parameters I'll set my linking parameters again these are going to be in relationship to the circles that we picked I might make this a little bit higher and then for my depth I don't actually know what that distance is again but I can pick the depth by just picking that point again or pick the center of that circle and I get the right distance so let's OK that and if we look inside our hole we should be able to see our other drill matching up we could see how they come together here let's go back to an isometric view so we'll select these last two operations here and we'll go to verify so there we can see how the holes come together and that looks pretty good again you can cross section that and that's a better way to see how the holes line up you can also go to your options and set this to translucent stock let's OK that then you can see through it we'll run it one more time and that's another good way of seeing how the holes line up Now I can also grab those two operations and post the code for just those two. I'm going to say overwrite because I think we already posted this once. OK that. When it says you haven't selected all the operations, do you want to post for all? Just say no. We only want to post for these two. So this shows our peck drilling cycle and our c-axis indexes for the cross drill and here we have our peck drilling cycle and it looks like this is outputting x and y 
So this post must support y-axis motion as well as c-axis motion. And that takes care of our c-axis face drilling.